All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into the news. I got to tell y'all, man, a lot of people have been talking about this whole thing, but nobody's been keeping it real like each and every one of my gym stars. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Hey, look, man, today we only got one news topic to talk about, and uh, we're going to get right into it. But before we get into it, man, look, y'all let me know. If I be keeping it real, who else you know make their own merch, sell it to y'all at a good price, and hit the gym like your boy, man. I also want to say I appreciate everybody who who stood up for me last time and was like, "Yo, bro, we say that you're a good player because you're a good player." Now I know I'm not on the level that a lot of other people are on because there are levels to this thing and that there's room for everybody to grow. But like I was telling T. Mizzle earlier today, man, I don't think that they're on a level that we can't get to, if that makes any sense, man. And that brings me to this thing that Dimes was talking about when he was talking about the NBA 2K League. Dimes says, one thing about the league, the statistics, the, the, I mean, there are statistics. Look at the numbers before y'all say anything. And that really makes me wonder, man. It really makes me wonder, what exactly is he going after when he's saying that, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, is he trying to say that, that, is he trying to say, you know, perhaps people in the league should be in the league? Is he saying that people are saying, slandering people that are in the league and, and they're saying that they and then they shouldn't be? Or is he saying that, hey, if the people who are watching us play believe that we shouldn't be in the league, make sure y'all watch the league this season and, uh, and we gonna show y'all while we there and why other people aren't. Now, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie, I ain't one of them people that like to that stir up drama, hate and all this stuff. But look, man, right up under that, hey, Edward yeah, Egra says, my man. And then Jess, uh, is it Jesse? I'm gonna say Jesse. Jesse Malik says, one thing about the league, it's been the same recycled players for three years. Uh if you play the if you play for breakout, KMT, throwdown, space jam, or greatness, you're getting in. This, this isn't throwing shots at, I mean, at all either. Those teams, along with a couple of more, uh, make up make up most of the league. And uh, she's not wrong, man. I'm going to tell y'all straight up, man. We say this all the time, man. I say that uh, she also left our island gang and probably a couple other teams, man. But, hey, your boy Shane comes back and says, uh, so the path to the pros is, is to play slash network your way on to the best uh semi pro teams sounds like a thrive all thriving esports i'm not gonna lie to y'all man like that's how it is in a lot of esports man like tsm if you can get in tsm academy or whatever like you you probably gonna make you, you're probably going to make it if you can't get on that uh you know but at the same time we got a lot of players like tarzan a lot of people like tyler one guys like that they may not aspire to be there but you got real life players in league that don't want to be on a team, not trying to be on a team, and they can't get picked up. They can't get drafted, you know, because it, it might be something else. Like a lot of those guys, you know, it might be attitude. It might be stuff like that. I'm not arguing with that, but I'm just saying you got real life people in Challenger that don't have any problems that can't get there in league because they can't get on those teams and all that. I understand what dude is trying to say, but is it, absolutely, is it actually right? I don't think that's right, man, that, that the way to do it is to network. What happened to being the best? Do you think anybody that came out of the uh came out of obviously you got a network to, to try to get to the NBA because somebody can argue that you know going to college and all that stuff is networking and, and doing the things that are necessary to get there. A lot of people look at college like uh the NBA not not like the best players they've ever seen, but they're the best players that went to school. I heard a lot of people say that, and I heard a lot of people be like, yo, I seen people that could that, that beat this guy, beat that guy, and they nice and they this, they just get they couldn't get the books and they couldn't go to school. And guys that are in the league will tell you that themselves, but at the same time, just I mean, Jesse comes back and says, "But I'm talking from I'm talking from someone who has no intent on making the league. People are going to lose interest watching the same people suck, get dropped, then repicked. This isn't this isn't talking about top players. This is just what what's going to happen." Then she calls out my guy Dave Goss and says, "Dave Goss keep getting worse and retain." Now I'm not gonna lie, man. 
This is something that me and T was talking about the other day too. We were saying, hey, the corner and the hash people, not Dev Goss in particular. I like I like Dev Goss. That's one of my dogs, man. So I ain't, I ain't got nothing bad to say about him. But what I am saying is, what we were saying, the corner sitters, the guys that don't really play, the guys that don't really do a whole lot, the corner and hash sitters and people that don't even really play defense and stuff like that, that, that spot should be up for grabs every single year. That's how I feel. But it's often not the case. A lot of times those guys' spots are just as safe as the main point guard and the main center. I do see people suck and get dropped. And like I said, I've seen a lot of people um, go out do nothing but give up buckets over and over, just like I said the other time, give up buckets over and over, and then not hit shots. And it's like, why are you on the team? I just don't get it. But hey, we're gonna keep on rolling, man. So he says, keep in mind, it's literally been two, uh, been less than two years since the first game. Uh, yeah, less than two years since the first game was played, was, uh, was played. Things have changed remarkably since uh, season one. There was a legitimate argument. In, well, season one there was a legitimate argument. You could have, you could have selecting all one over two uh, was a lot of pressure and hard to do. League talent is objectively better now and rising. And so she says, and Jesse says, I agree, it's better. I just think that me, along with most viewers, feel like players got snubbed for all the wrong reasons. I don't want to. I don't want to call out individual players because I know most still worked worked hard to get there, but. They need to eliminate players' capable uh, ca players' capability on determining picks. I, I, I can see that. She's saying players should not be should not be the ones that are uh, drafting players. Buddies shouldn't be drafting buddies. Friends shouldn't be drafting friends. And then she says because because I think a lot of people would would agree that friendships trump talent. And um, I know some I know some of the players on the comp scene who say the same thing. I just think things. Could have uh, could have gone could have gotten a lot better this season in particular. Who knows? I could be wrong. And then Shane comes back and says, "As a fan, I promise you these guys are these guys are friends, but not make me lose 2K League games so you can get so you can get free a free ride kind of friends." So that's what he's saying is these guys are friends. But they're not friends to the point where they're gonna pick up somebody that's gonna make them lose a game just so that person can ride. I beg to differ. In some cases, I think the hash sitters and the corner sitters, that's exactly what they are. That's my homeboy. He ain't gonna lose us a game. He's not gonna, he's not gonna make the game. He's not gonna lose the game. Anybody could be here. So why not be somebody that I like? And then at the same time, a lot goes on behind the scenes. Don't just believe the most angry on uh, the the most angry on Twitter that goes for all topics in life. I guess what I guess I understand what he's saying. I think the case and then she comes back and says, I think that's the case for about half of the players. I've seen some tweets, videos that could that could suggest otherwise. I'm not I'm not even on here trying to uh troll. I've been I've been consistent with with my problems on this year's draft, but hopefully I'm wrong. And like we said, man, we all hope that, that you're wrong, man. We all hope that people are not getting drafted off of just being friends with the right people or knowing the right people and all of that. But at the same time, it's so hard for us to say that that's the case when we know that in some ways it is the case. And what I'm saying is, and I'm saying we know that in some ways it is the case. Like I said, I always, I, maybe I'm wrong. We know that nobody can dispute that Bear, Bear should have been in the league year one. They ain't yelled loud enough for him, I guess. He was in there year two, the MVP of the league, MVP of the finals, won the whole thing. He showed that he showed his medal. He showed that he should be there. He showed that he's that guy. When you get the opportunity, you got to take the opportunity and run with it. But at the same time, you got to know that there are people. It's just like getting a job, right? I probably had 10, 12, 15 jobs in my life. And maybe three or four of them I got under my own merit. I ain't saying it's right, but like somebody either knew somebody that got me in the door or somebody, um, you know, like somebody talked up for me or I knew somebody that was already working there on a lot of the jobs that I got. This job that I got now, I've been here seven years. I got it on my own, 100%. I just went in and talked to the people and did what I was supposed to do. But very seldom do you get into places without somebody that you already know being there. I understand that, I get that. That is how the real world works. Maybe we need to work on the real world as well. But one thing I will tell you is this. She ain't wrong, man. Like I said, a lot of people on these teams 
are on these teams because they knew the right person. And I ain't saying it's a bad thing, but I'm just saying if that's how it is and that's how it's going to be, can we just please get rid of the charade that everybody has a fair chance? Like we said, if you can, if we say, hey, if you want to get to the league, get in WR. Get active out there in the, uh, get active in WR, get active on the pro-am scene, get your name out there, get your tape out there. Network with these people, show them why you should be the best and then they'll talk up for you and stuff like that. If they would say that and say that kind of thing, I don't think anybody would have any issue with any of it, but they don't say that. They, they say, come to the league, do your best, get in the combine, everybody has a fair chance and it's based off of stats. And when we know this, that's not the case, because like, let's look at somebody like Chalk. Chalk went in, the first year had the, some of the, Chalk, Bear, and them guys had the best stats. They didn't make it. Chalk started dropping a mixtape on them boys. He was like, hey man, you know, we should, I, I mean, I should be here, because you know, it's a guy like me, an absolute dog, who's uh who was hooping. You had me, Bear, and all them. We had better stats than people. We did our thing, man. And you know, he's like, we did our thing, but we didn't get picked up. Why didn't they get picked up? Because maybe they weren't networked enough. Then Chalk takes the next year. He trade plays, try to do the same thing. Got blackballed the first year, blackballed the second year. Third year, changed his image up, got on some WR teams, came out, was the first legend, got himself, his face to the forefront, got a lot of positive press, and then, like I said, played on WR team, made the right connections, and boom, he's there. They would just look silly not picking Chalk up right now. It just would look like, just look bad, just because, hey, he's that guy that you know in a lot of people's eyes but it is what it is am i saying that that's the right path that he should have been able to take you know uh, hey it is what it is all i can say is it works i can't say if it's right or not it ain't for me to say whether or not it's right i can just say it works and that what they're saying is what she's saying is clearly correct you cannot sit here and act like that people are just making it to the league on their own merit and i think that they should have a chance to but if it's not going to be that way, let's just call a ball a ball, a strike a strike. You ain't going to make it to the league just by being good, going through the combine and blasting people. You're going to make it to the league by going to the combine, playing in WR, getting your name out of there, getting your name out there, playing in all these other leagues, getting buddy-buddy with people, whooping their ass, making them see why they should pick you, and then they'll put that buzz in somebody's ear, and then you probably go get picked up or not. But you gotta get out there and show these guys why you should be out there, man. That's all I got to really say about the thing, man. Y'all let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Is it right? No. But that's how most things in life are. You gotta get in with the right people. Like they always say, it ain't what you know or what you can do, it's who you know and who you've done. Wait. Anyway, or who wants to do you? Anyway, man, I got to get up out of here, man. Bridget about to walk in here and come slap my head and all that. But y'all get what I'm trying to say, man. Look, it is what it is. We know, we know she's not wrong. Jesse, Ma Jesse Malik is not wrong. And the other guy, I mean, they ain't exactly right. I just wish there, there was more transparency. And they say, hey, if you want to get there, play in these minor leagues all year and then do your thing, man. Anyway, it ain't right, but that's just the way it is. And uh, things will never be the same. I'm going to holler y'all next time. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Y'all like the new way that we're doing the videos and all that stuff. And um, I'm going to holler y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Town. Godspeed. Maybe we should do the EPL, man, and uh, do our own league. And maybe we can get it up there and get y'all elevated and stuff like that. I can use my weak-ass platform to get some people out there. We might do that. I'm going to holler y'all. Peace.